Peace. Johnny Fastlane here. So Lazy Bone drops a diss track called Let Me Go Migos, coming at the Migos, and Six Nines Baby Moms goes off on DJ Academics. Let's talk hip hop. Yeah, Lazy Bone is a legend. Ain't nobody taking that from Lazy Bone. But that diss song whack as a motherfucker. <laughs> Last week, I did a video on Lazy Bone and Offset. Both of them saying that each of their groups are the best group in hip hop, which is cool because you're supposed to think that you're the best, especially when it comes to rap. But now Lazy Bone has dropped a diss track aiming at Offset. Now, this is dope. See, when one rapper has beef with another rapper, nowadays they just go on Instagram, they go on Twitter, they talk shit. But in this case, Lazy Bone took it back to the origins. He dropped a diss track. And man, it's fire. Yeah, your son, you thought we retired, we still having fun. As long as I'm living, we second to none. Come, come here, little dum dum. You and I will bum bum out on the market. Better walk it, like it, talk it. Cause I'll set them made you a target. You can wanna tell my pockets, huh? Nowadays, y'all the cream of the crop. It all could have stopped if you gave us props. Now watch how I pop. Woo! I don't know. Lazy Bone was taking straight shots, and he was naming names. This is hip hop. You know, I like this. I'm excited about this. Now, let's see if the Migos are answer back. Now, honestly, in my heart of hearts, I think that the Migos or Offset are not going to answer back. If they do, then we got a new rap battle on our hands. So I'm waiting for that. Let's see what happens. But so far, it looks like Lazy Bone is winning. Now, in the other video, I said that Lazy Bone was on some sucker shit because he was trying to knock down a new artist or a newer artist to try to get him and his group some clout. Yeah, I mean, it was some sucker shit. You talking on Instagram, you, ah, oh, we the best group, and blah, 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 amigos, we coming for you. But if you want to drop a track, ah, oh, man, that's all for the sport of it. So I'm here for all that. Thank you, Lazy Bone. Let's see what Offset does. Now, Brooklyn rapper Takashi69 is still locked up. But for some reason, the kid's still trending. Now, yesterday, 6 ix baby moms went on live and she went off on academics. I'm like, finally done. And he saw that. It's like, I don't know how you in jail and you still trying to hurt me. It's like, I ain't heard about it. And let me tell you something. Now that I'm here talking my shit, academics is such a fucking bozo. I got an issue. Academics, and I can talk all the shit I want. He's such a fucking bitch. Fucking. I didn't like academics because I felt like he was just so fucking sleazy before, but not that I had so much of a big, big issue with him. My issue is now, after Danny gets locked up, and all this shit comes out, like, here and there through Team Z and all this other daily posts or whatever. There was a statement somewhere along those lines saying, 6 9 is worried for the safety of his family. And if 6 9 was such your friend, if Danny was your friend, I, even if that was the case, if Danny feared for us while he was inside, like me and his daughter... Why would you put mine and my daughter's picture out there, broadcast it on your fucking YouTube, YouTube channel, and put us out there like that? What if niggas was really after us? After us, you just was worried so much about fucking getting a fucking click and views and shit like that, and a fucking something to put on your channel that you put us out there like that. What if something would have happened to me and my daughter? After that video. You fucking fat fuck. Now, she specifically talks about how he's locked up and how she feels like he's still trying to hurt her. I don't know. Let's break this down. Now, I really don't understand what her argument is. From my point of view, from the outside looking in, it just seems like she's hurt. Now, fine, he doesn't want to be with you no more. Fine, he's locked up. Fine, he bought Jay the G-Wagon while he was locked up. Why are you and your feelings about that? 
And then you want to go off on academics just because you mad and you want to have somebody to be upset about talking about how academics posted up a picture of you and your daughter. And if people were trying to get at y'all, then why would he facilitate that by putting y'all information in your picture up? Listen, Sarah, we all know who you are. We all know who 6 ix baby moms is. You're on live talking about 6 9 and the baby. Nobody made you get on live. You went on live yourself. You were in mad videos with 6 9 We know who you are. Everyone knows who you are. So what are you talking about? At this point, it's too late for you to hide or to act like you don't know 6 9 or to try to be like, oh, that's not my baby daddy or whatever. But I don't think that you want to hide. I don't think that you want to act like you don't know 6 9 Now that he's locked up and you ain't getting the attention or the money that you used to, you're upset. And now you're on live. You trying to clout chase. You saying that 6 9s clout chasing by buying Jay the G-Wagon while he's locked up. I don't know. Maybe he is. He's doing his own thing. But it looks like you the one that's clout chasing now or just upset for, for no reason. You mad because you ain't get the G-Wagon, right? Now, even I don't always agree with everything that DJ Academic says or everything that he posts. About a month ago, he posted something and I was just like, damn, yo, I think that he's doing a little bit too much right now. I think that when he posted that one thing, I'm not even going to get into the specifics, but when he did, a lot of people kind of said, Damn, man. And academics ultimately ended up taking it down. So I understand that sometimes academics does a little bit too much. But in this case right here, he ain't wrong. We know you, Sarah. We know who you are. So stop clout chasing. Stop calling academics a bitch. Stop trying to get clicks. And then guess what? You are getting clicks because I'm doing a story about you. And if something happens to you or your daughter, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be academics fault. I can name about five other people, including you, including six nines, whose fault it might be if something happens to you. So why don't you shut up, stop talking with your mouth full, and go sit down somewhere. I don't know. Do I got to relax? Am I wilding? Y'all let me know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Y'all know what to do. Peace.